Okay. So, welcome to the video here. So today, we're gonna go over a few melee weapons here. Because in Tarkov, this is a little bit more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. When looking at melee weapons, you would think it'd be the Taiga off the bat. But there's a lot more to it. So I wanted to do like a in-depth video on these different melee weapons. Right? So, I put a chart I did on the top here. If you want to kind of look at that. And I'm going to break it down. I'm going to show you how these different weapons work. And which ones I prefer and why. So let's start with the Red Rebel. So Red Rebel, it's pretty expensive. It's a few mil. It does fluctuate during the white. And you can do a trade with Jaeger for it. Or you could get it from Killing Sturman. Um, for reserve, there is an extract that you need this here. So that is why a lot of people have Red Rubble. Because of that extract. Okay. So this one here. It has 25 chop damage. Okay. Which is not a lot. That's in this all these weapons here. This is the least damage for chop out of all of these. Okay. Um, has 30 stab, which is also the least stab damage. So as like as like a high tier melee weapon goes, it's probably worse in the category for both of those. It does have 0.6 distance, which is second best. So range, it's decent, but it's still not good. And I'll I'll show you why. So if you're looking at this when you do your chop. A lot of times you swing from the top going down. So you can clunk them in the head a lot with the chops. When you stab, a lot of times they have less distance. Like, are you see how I'm missing here? It's not even hitting it. And to hit a headshot, I have to aim way up here. Which this is going to be very consistent across the board. Okay? So that's why a lot of these are a little bit tricky. And I'll kind of go between them. Because some of them are better for chopping. Some are better for um, using your stab. So... Now that we look at this here, you notice that the range is farther and it does a better angle. Because if let's say if I'm up close, I'm trying to melee, I have to be up closer. I'm trying to do the stab and a lot of times you'll hit them in the hands. You get a headshot, you have to be like this and hope you don't hit their hands. Versus if you swing, you're swinging from top to bottom and you'll be able to clunk them in the head. Next thing let's go to here is the crash axe right here. This one here, it's moderately expensive. You do have to have Ragman level 4, so it is more of an endgame thing to get. And you have to do a quest, the quest scavenger to even unlock it. The kind of barrier to entry is there. This does have less distance, this is at 0.45. So out of all of these, this is the least distance. It does tie with the, the antique axe here. But... This axe here, let's put it on. You're gonna notice, same thing with this one. If you stab, it's basically straight ahead. And you're missing. If you chop, it's a little bit better. It's going top, top right to bottom. Let's move a little bit closer. I'm missing here. And if I chop, it's hitting. So farther distance with the chop. Um, this one here, you do get slightly more chop damage just by one than the Red Rebel. You get 44 stab, but remember you have to be really close and you're probably gonna hit him in like the thorax or stomach doing this. A lot of times they're hands. So if you look at this compared to the Antique Axe, you're gonna look at these, you're gonna say, hey, this looks longer than this. This They have identical stats, right? 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 44 stab, 44 stab, 26 chop, 26 chop. You're like, they're identical. This one just, you have to do trade and it's level expensive. So this must be clear winner, right? No. And I'll explain why here. So, Antique Axe, you can find on Raiders. You can find on Scavs. You can buy off a of fleet pretty cheap. This one here, if we look at this. I'm going to do my chop. I'm going to do my stab. They all have almost identical animation. Top right, swinging down. For both of them. Okay. And look at this. Chop, let me move. Chop, stab. Move a little bit closer. Chop, stab. See how they're, they're both hitting like relatively the same here? 
stab, chop. So, just very slightly, the, the stab has more distance, which is odd. Because almost all the other ones going to be chop is going to be better for distance. So this one has slightly more distance with this stab. And it has the same animation. And this does 44 damage for the stab, which is phenomenal. So this one here, it's good price. The stab is the preferred way. And you're still going to be hanging from top right to bottom. So you're going to get those headshots. The only downside is you're going to have to be pretty close. Because this is 0.45. But when you do hit them, it's going to hit pretty, pretty hard. So over this one, this is a clear winner so far. So now, let's look at the SP-8. So, SP-8, when we're comparing these two, it is slightly farther with 0.5 meters versus 0.45 meters. You do, do gain a little bit extra chop damage, but you do lose stab damage, okay? So, let's put this bad boy on here. We're going to stab. It hits. Let's back up a little bit. Back up. Okay, so missing for both of these. Let's move up one. I can hit with the stab, but I'm missing with the chop. Okay, so this one does do farther distance with stab, but if we're looking to get a headshot, I have to be looking like way up here. Okay, and you're gonna hit their their hands on the way up. If they're looking right at you, you're probably gonna hit their hands. If it's a chop, you can hit them from the hit their head, right? So, this one, if you're behind them, chasing them, you might want to do a stab. To kind of aim high. It's, it's going to feel unnatural, so you aim high. And stab them if you're from behind. The closer you're going to chop, hit him in the head. So, this one here, not bad. It's good for hitting heads. Decent price, too. Um, let's go to the next one here. Let's look at the camper axe. So... When we're comparing the two, same distance, slightly extra chop, less stab, okay? With this one here, you're probably going to be wanting to use chop anyways. So if I'm looking at the camper axe here, if you notice the animation changes when you do the stab, you kind of slide it down a little bit and you don't get much distance chop. You kind of clunk in from top right again. So you're hitting of chop, missing of stab. See that? Stab, you have to be like scary close to be able to hit them. So this one, chop is preferred for sure. So this one over the SP-8, I would I'd prefer the camper. Because you do get that chop. Now, to the Taiga. This thing here, this is stupid rare. They're, they go for like red key cards. And like green key cards, blue key cards, stuff like that, right? Right now you can find them for millions of dollars. So are they worth the hype? So this thing here, 0.5 meters, the same as that camper axe and the SP-8. You do get crazy high stab damage, so you get 50. And then your chop damage is 30, okay? So almost identical to this this wise, but you get a lot more stab. So let's test this out. Let's do chop. Chop is like you would expect chop to be. So very similar that way. As the camper chop wise, but stab. Let's look at a stab. Let's test this. You notice stab is gonna be further distance than the chop. Which is good because you wanna be this one here, it's it's stabbing is what it's known for, but look how weird angles this is going to be. So to get a headshot, I have to be looking up here. And that's if their hands don't get in the way. See how high you have to look up? It's it's awkward. So imagine seeing a dude and be like, okay, let me look way up here and hopefully your hands don't get in the way. You know what I mean? So chop when they're up close. If you're running behind them, you'll be able to shank them in the back. But you're probably going to be in their face if you're going to use a melee weapon. Okay. And this, for the money, I would not say it's worth it at all. So now to my favorite, which is going to be M2 Sword. So this one here, if you're comparing them, this does have the farthest distance. Red Rebel is second with 0.6. So this is 0.7. You get the highest chop out of all of these at 34. You get a pretty high stab to a 48. 
So, let's test this out. Stab. Stab is gonna be the same thing where you have to aim high like almost all these other ones except antique gag. The chop, you get a awesome. But you get massive range of this thing. So if you run up at an enemy, you can boom, tap them in the head. Pretty easy. And you'll avoid their hands because you're chopping from above. Okay, let's stab. I wouldn't recommend stabbing unless you're directly behind them. You do get the extra distance with the chop. Some of these should be pretty similar, let me check. Yeah, they're almost, they're like identical. So you're not even going to notice a difference between the chop or stab. They're like identical distance. But chop is what you're going to want to be doing with this thing here. Now I've dropped many, many bodies with this. That extra range, that 0.7 versus like a... Um, like 0 0.5, 0 0.45, you really, really notice the difference. It doesn't seem like much here, but what it is. So, let's kind of just do a quick breakdown between these. Um, Antique Axe. I would say this is very, very, very good for your money. You can get it. You don't even have to have it. Level 10, you can have it. You could have even less than level 10 because you find it on scabs and raiders. And this thing here, you want to be stabbing with it, and you're getting your stab damage, which is 44, but you have to be up close. With the um, Red Rebel, you could use that for, like, extract, so it's good to have. And then Camper. Camper is decent chop damage, because you're always going for heads. So you get that little bit extra range on the Antique Axe. And, you know, so there's that. So if you wanna, if you've been dying because you haven't been able to get close enough, you might want to try the camper. And then when we're looking over at the top one, I would say the M2 sword, because that range and the chop damage it feels really good. Um, when you're low strength, like I have max strength, right? So I do a crazy amount of damage because this does give me a boost by 30%, and I do get a 50% chance to critical. So I can go through slicks and altons like it's nothing. But if you're low level, you're going to definitely want to have like SJ1 and a Adrenaline at each each raid when you're trying to do your melees. And going for those headshots. But prefer, for sure, the winner, hands down in my opinion, is them too. A lot of people will tell you the Taiga. A lot of people haven't even used the Taiga. I would do the M2 sword any day of the week. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and you can catch me live on Twitch most evenings by following the link below. Peace.